Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Parizer here and as you can see I have a Nokia 5 in my hand and this Nokia 5 recently updated to Android 8.1 Oreo. Uh, HMD started pushing Android 8.1 Oreo to both Nokia 5 and Nokia 6 starting yesterday and it was a pleasant surprise because uh, HMD never announced it. So usually it happens that HMD would uh, first announce a, any of the major updates for any of the devices and then it follows it up with a release. But uh, since like uh, in this case we have not seen any announcement so since HMD is changing the strategy and uh, this may be for good because now uh, like I could see that uh, the users are very happy after receiving the update when they were not expecting it. So anyways uh, in this video what we will do that uh, we will first demo the new features or changes that Android 8.1 Oreo brings to Nokia 5 and then we will talk about our hands-on impressions of how Android 8.1 Oreo runs on Nokia 5. So then let's start with the changes first. So if you go to the Action Center, you will notice one thing which is uh, that Action Center has become translucent. You can see these icons here as I zoom in. So now these icons are noticeable under the Action Center. So this is small but uh, rather I will say uh, something which allows you to you know customize and how We'll just see it. So one of the main focus of Android 8.1 Oreo is personalization or customization. So now coming to customization, what happens that let's say, okay. So first, if you have a wallpaper, which is not dark, so you will notice that your action center will get this light theme. Your app drawer will get light theme. This power menu, so this power menu has also changed from Android 8.0 Oreo. So you can see this power menu is now totally different. It has a different look from what it was on Android 8.0 Oreo. And apart from that changed appearance or changed look, it also has a light theme when your wallpaper is light. So three things we talked about which are like become light. So action center becomes light app drawer becomes light and this power theme becomes light there is one more thing so if you go to the lock screen lock screen will also appear light when you have a light wallpaper now let us change this wallpaper to dark so as soon as we change this wallpaper what all will change your action center becomes darker so it called it now gets a dark theme with a dark wallpaper if you go to your app drawer it becomes dark you go to the power menu it also gets the dark theme and your lock screen obviously it will become the dark depending because you have actually chosen the wallpaper so these four things change when you change your wallpaper and set it so as I said, a focus, major focus of Android 8.1 Oreo was customization because Google was heavily criticized for not providing a dark theme. So this is uh, Google's way to provide you with a dark theme or light theme depending upon your choice of wallpaper. Now coming to other changes. So if you go to the uh, settings, you will notice that now settings uh, does not have a does not have an icon here to the right which was on the Android 8.0 audio rather it has got a search toolbar or search bar so now you tap anywhere and you go to the search page which is very convenient earlier you could have seen that search has got one search icon here so you have to all the way reach and tap on the search icon to get the search bar but now it's much more convenient which i like if you go to battery you will see a uh, new options and one more this ambient display so ambient display is surprisingly in two places the setting is present under display and as well as under the battery now if we go to apps and notification you will notice one thing new this recently opened apps so it was not on android 8.0 it is here on android 8.1 as i said ambient display is still here Okay, now apart from that, if you go to the system, you will see gestures are now standalone, then you will see changes in reset and backup. So similarly, there are like minor tweaks and changes in uh, lots of settings. So you can go and check it for yourself and you will find them. Now, uh, if we talk about one of 
uh, very like uh, well known change or much hyped about change it is an emoji so you uh, perhaps may have heard that google changed the hamburger emoji because there were lots of uh, hue and cry about it that it is not proper so uh, you know this hamburger emoji was changed in shape and design so this was like lots of uh, it's got lots of coverage and i i'm not sure whether it was such an impo such an important change to cover and talk about but it happened so this is the new him um, hamburger emoji that uh, comes with android 8.1 audio so if you like very much use this then you will like it uh, apart from this changes that we talk or new features that we talked about and uh, you can uh, if you go to the notifications so there are like uh, you can now change few or uh, disable few of notification like app is running in the background so this notification was very annoying in android 8.0 oreo so you can now uh, you know just disable it so earlier it was not possible apart from this if you go to the bluetooth so uh, if you have a like a accessory that you connect via bluetooth uh, the access it shows the uh, you know battery levels of your bluetooth device when it is connected to here so we don't have a bluetooth accessory with us now so we can't show it but if you have bluetooth accessory you can connect it to your uh, device and you can see the battery percentage in the quicksetting panel basically so these are all the you know important or major or like most of the changes that uh, comes with android 8.1 oreo now coming to other changes uh, there are like some under the hood changes and one of them is very important and very much useful for like devices like uh, Nokia 2, which has low RAM. So Android 8.10 Oreo brings, uh, uh, you know, some modifications for low RAM devices, which makes them, you know, use uh, the apps in such a way that uh, that is smooth. So usually low RAM devices are not uh, well known for, you know, making the device or experience very good. But with Android 8.0 Oreo, that changes. So uh, hopefully when it hits Android uh, Nokia 2, many will become very very happy so for now let's talk about the performance of uh, nokia 5 with the android 8.1 audio so if i go to the background i can see you can see that i have lots of uh, apps open and with android 8.1 audio i have seen that uh, there is no issue with you know uh, multitasking at least the resume from the background is quite good there this was an issue on nokia 5 so this nokia 5 is 2 gb ram variant for the information and with android 8.1 audio i have found it to be quite uh, i mean quite efficient perhaps a bit more or uh, bit better than what it was on android 8.0 audio So for now, uh, this is our experience and uh, talking about the battery life, so it's really very, very early to talk about battery life, but it seems okay because I have not seen any, you know, um, jump in battery level uh, uses or battery life or battery uses after Android 8.0. So I'll save at this juncture or at, uh, at this point in time that it looks similar to what, what was on Android 8.0 audio. So if there is any change, we will talk about or we will let you know. So for now, uh, we are like uh, at the end of this video. Hope you have liked this video. Stay tuned to Nokia Power Reserve at, uh, on YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned to NokiaPowerReserve.com for all your uh, Nokia related news, reviews, hands-on, etc. Thanks for watching.